What's going on, guys? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are here, finally, for the last ever Fiancé Finance Bundle Battle. As you can see, it is Ravnica Allegiance. For those of you that might be new, I'll explain as I move through some things. First of all, this is Amy's bundle, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it to Amy as I work with mine here. Uh, but... Yeah, for those of you that might be new, what we do is we each have a bundle, as you saw. We are going to open that bundle for all of you on camera. We are off camera going to total up the value of the cards that are opened. All cards that are a dollar or more, tcgplayer.com market price will be counted. And the winner will get bragging rights and the loser will suffer a punishment. So I will show off what is in my kit first. Amy will then not have to show off what's in hers besides the packs themselves. We have the player's guide. Very nice. The um, sleeve that you guys saw already. There's this little box that you can keep like dice and stuff in at the bottom here. All of that will be dropped by me apparently. Uh, and then will otherwise be left on the floor out of the way. Inside of the bundle box itself, we have a lovely piece of cardboard. Uh, we have this top. We have the packs, which obviously I will get to in a moment. We have a card, or some cards, showing off deck building and popular formats and what to do on your turn. And you can't necessarily see those super well, but here they are. Very interesting, okay. Uh, there are the basic lands. We have one foil of each basic land type uh, at the top, and then the rest are inside. I'm not gonna open those, I never do. We have a D20. Each of us will get a random one. I happen to open Azorius. I think it will be hilarious if Amy opens Gruul, because I, Joe, am an Azorius, and Amy is a Gruul. So, that would actually be kind of funny. But uh, and this is pure luck and happenstance in terms of which ones we picked, but we will see now uh, who gets more value out of the 10 packs out of this bundle. Here are mine, as I said. Uh, and we are going to crack right into them and get moving with this thing so that we can see who has more value in their bundles. And what, like I said once again, um, this is all cards that are a dollar or more at the time of filming, which is like a day or two before this goes live. We have a Scorch Mark to start, a Bring to Trial, Thought Collapse, Steeple Creeper, Under City's Embrace, Scuttle Gator, Senate Griffin, Simic Locket, a Deface, Gateway Plaza, Enraged Saratok is our first uncommon, Rhythm of the Wilds is the second. I like this card a lot. Not value-wise, but I like it in general. And a Sphinx of the Guild Pact. And my first rare or mythic is... A Warrant Warden. Uh, it is one of the split cards. I am pretty confident in saying, because I wrote this up before we started, there is not a single split card that will count today. Uncommon or rare. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it's cool to see them. You get to see Dovin and Lavinia kind of battling it out for control of the Azorius Guild. Um, but for our purposes of value, not really there. Behind Warrant Warden, I have a Rakdos Guildgate and a Beast Token. Next, we have a pack with Domri on it. So we were talking about Gruul a second ago. Here is a Gruul pack, and we start with actually one of my favorite cards in the set, a Gruul card in Savage Smash, Viscopa Vampire, Arrester's Admonition, Rakdos Roustabout, Stony Strength, Titanic Brawl, Azorius Knight Arbiter, I love this card as well, a Burn Bright, love the art on this, it's so good looking, a Grasping Thrall, Skitter Eel, Galloping Lizrog, great name for a card, and a good card, is our first uncommon. Screaming Shield is the second, and a Junk Troller is the third. And our next, I say our, I mean my, next rare or mythic is a Hero of Precinct 1. This card, if I recall correctly, is like 95 cents. Very close, but does not count for what we are looking for. 
behind the Hero of Precinct 1, a Gruel Guild Gate, and a Spirit Token. Not looking super hot for our heroes. Um, we have a Vanifer pack next. By our heroes, again, I mean myself, because Amy is sitting there pretty, uh, realizing that, you know, my first two packs have had nothing in them, so... All right, we have a 10th District Veteran, a Fairy Duelist, Gore Clan Wrecker, Consigned to the Pit, Grasping Thrall, Syndicate Messenger, Root Snare, Rafter Demon, Azorius Locket, Skatewing Spy is the first uncommon, another split card in Collision Colossus, as promised, uh, does not count. I think there's only one uncommon that counts, and if you're aware of the standard format currently, you know it's Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, and a Flames of the Razebore, and our rare or mythic is... Absorb! This one counts. It is literally the 32nd of 32 cards that counts, so I have the least amount of value possible uh, yes. out of a single card that I could have opened. You did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is an Azorius card. It is gorgeous art. I love this art so much. Um, but yeah, it, it technically counts. I am putting it in my pile. I believe I have a foil. I do. It is a Ministrant of Obligation, and it is a foil uncommon. So I did not... Very nice foiling pattern on that. I like that a lot. I oh, didn't... Yeah. yeah. I did not write down the pricing of uh, foils, especially because there are probably some uncommons that in foil will push it over, um, and some rares, etc. So we will look this up afterwards, and you guys will see that if it counts later. Behind the Ministrant, a Simic Guildgate, and a Human Token. So far... Not doing super well, but this pack is an Azorius pack, so it's going to help me out, right? That's how that's how these things work. It knows that I'm Azorius. I got an Azorius die in my bundle, so, you know, this one's going to have the, the foil hydroid crisis, right, guys? Right? There's a Prowling Caracal to start. Shimmer of Possibility. Storm Strike. Consigned to the Pit again. Territorial Boar. Final Payment. Ill-Gotten Inheritance, Burning Tree Vandal, Air Amunculus, a Biogenic Upgrade, I like this card, is the first uncommon, Smelt Ward Ignis is the second, and Clan Guildmage is the third. Many Guildmages, notably, again, none of them uh, over a dollar. And my next rare or mythic is... Oh, God... <laughs> Even if this one did count, I hate this card. Uh -huh. uh, Awaken the Erstwhile. I have opened too many of these in um, Magic Arena uh, in sealed events to, to think anything more than how much I despise it. Behind Awaken the Erstwhile, ooh, a foil. It is a Noxious Grudian. It is a foil common Death Touch creature. Very cool. I doubt this one counts, but again, I did not write down... Um, the pricing so uh, for foils, so I will leave that aside and check later. An Orzov Guildgate and a Treasure Token, which looks so real. It's insane how real. It looks like they made it and took a picture of it and put it on a card. We have Kaya on this next pack. Kaya would count if we got her. I would be just fine with that. She is the second most expensive non-foil in the set. Arrester's Admonition. Savage Smash again. Love this card. Twilight Panther. Persistent Petitioners. Sylvan Brush Strider. Carrion Imp. Goblin Gathering. Summary Judgment. Ceruli Caretaker. Air Amunculus. Frilled Mystic. Cool card. Is our first uncommon. Bankrupt in Blood. Amazing Art is the second. And Tower Defense is the third. Because, uh, you know, what other video game franchises are there that have, or not franchises, but uh, styles of video games that have their own um, magic card? And my next rare mythic is a Blood Crypt. It counts, folks. It is number, checking my list, come on, number five. Not bad at all. Number five. Okay. Behind Blood Crypt, an Azorius Guildgate, and an Ooze Token. Well, a Blood Crypt is nice, but I'm about halfway through, and it's 
it's not great. So, uh, yeah. Can I ask for more? I, I mean, I'm going to, so. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Sage's Row Savant next. Rubble Belt Recluse. Arrestor Zeal. Slime Bind. Noxious Grudian. A Steeple Creeper. Senate Griffin. Was peeking through a bit there. A Catacomb Crocodile. Summary Judgment. Cerule Caretaker. A Windstorm Drake is the first uncommon. Nice. Not, you know, not valuable, but a good card. Hackrobat. And a Gatebreaker Ram. And my next rare or mythic is... An Unbreakable Formation. While I enjoy this card, I think the art is really cool and it's an Azorius card, it is definitely not on the list. <laughs> behind, <laughs> behind that, a Simic Guildgate and a Spirit Token. No, trust me. I'm sorry. Uh, we have a Domri pack next. We are over halfway through and I have basically one card that is, like, good value-wise. <clears throat> Again, I'll check those foils too, but yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up too high on that one. We have a Feral Maka, a Concordia Pegasus, Thought Collapse, Spear Spewer, a Footlight Fiend, Open the Gates, Cerule Caretaker, Chillbringer, Rubble Reading, Law Mage's Binding, this is another one of my favorite cards from the set, Clamor Shaman is the first uncommon, didn't mean to rhyme, but there we are. A Terramander, actually, hold on. Terramander is on the list. It is more expensive than that rare I opened <laughs> earlier. <laughs> so Terramander counts. I have a Knight of the Last Breath. And my next rare or mythic is... Ugh, a Glass of the Guild Pact. Gorgeous art, but not valuable enough. Behind it... An Orzov Guildgate and a Zombie Token. I mean, technically there was value in that one, right? So I can't complain, but you better believe I'm going to because my God. <laughs> Amy needs like one card and she blows me out. <laughs> one of a couple of different possible cards. All right, we have a Persistent Petitioners, a Rubble Belt Runner, a Footlight Fiend, and Open the Gates. Exposed to Daylight, a Titanic Brawl, Azorius Knight Arbiter again, like this guy, another Burn Bright, nice, Grasping Thrall, Skitter Eel, Mortify is the first uncommon, Gorgeous Art, not valuable enough, I, I believe me, I checked, uh, an Incubation Incongruity, and as I said, none of the split cards are valuable enough, so even though this is an uncommon split card, not uh, exactly what we're looking for and a Wall of Lost Thoughts. And our next, my next, rare or mythic is... A Skargan Hellkite. Okay, this one counts. It is number 15. It is the 15th most valuable card, which is not terrible. It's better than um, the Terramander and the Absorb, so there you go. And it's a mythic, so, you know, it's up there. And it's pretty art, at least from what I can tell from this Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I like it quite a bit. Um, Behind the Skargan Hellkite, a Gruel Guildgate, and a Sphinx Token. That's kind of cool. Not valuable, but, but cool to have a Sphinx Token. I like that. Two packs left. If we could pick it up, that would be great. Lavinia is on this one. Yeah, that Skar Skargan Hellkite is very good. Um, it put in work for me uh, in some events and stuff that I've played. We have a Spike Wheel Acrobat. Hazda Officer, Sagittar's Volley, Rakdos Roustabout, Debtor's Transport, this gross little thrill, and by little I mean quite large, uh, the Orzov Locket, a.k.a. the Millennium Falcon, a <laughs> Frenzied Erinx, a Gruul Locket, a Wrecking Beast, a Senate Courier, Silhana Wayfinder is the first uncommon, Azorius Skyguard is the second, and... A Resolute Watchdog is the third. My second to last, rare or mythic, come on, help me out, is... Yeah! <laughs> All right, it is Dovin, Grand nice. Arbiter. I will say, uh, Skargan Hellkite was number 15. Dovin is actually number 16. So, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it felt kind of far. But still, um, that's that's fine. It's more value. It could have been a hell of a lot worse as we've seen in these other packs. Plus, I opened a Planeswalker. I think this might be my first Dovin. But yeah, here we are. Dovin Grand Arbiter. I'm pretty pleased. I love Dovin. Yeah, well, uh, hopefully you only get Dovin. Mm -hmm. Only Dovin. <laughs> we have a Rakdos Guildgate and a Goblin Token. I have one pack remaining. Speaking of Planeswalkers, this one's got Kaya on the front. And on the inside, it's got... Kaya. Well, maybe. She's the second most expensive card in the set, so oh, I would good. totally be okay with that. All right. Another Spike Wheel Acrobat. A Twilight Panther. Under City Scavenger. Sagittar's Volley. Skewer the Critics. Growth Spiral. Gorgeous, gorgeous art on Growth Spiral. Clear the Mind. Sphinx's Insight. Grotesque Demise. Exposed to Daylight. Orzov Racketeers is the first uncommon. Wilderness Reclamation. Here we go. That counts. And it is one, uh, our second uncommon. It is actually the most, uh, yeah, okay, I can speak. It is a little bit more expensive than Terramander, but not by much. And a Code of Constraint. And my last, Rare or Mythic, is, does it count? No, it does not, because it is a split card. It is Thrash Threat. So there you go. Uh, behind Thrash Threat, no foil. We have an Orzov Guildgate, and we have a Spirit Token. So guys, Amy's opening is next. We will be right back with that right about now. As promised, Amy is here to open her bundle again. You guys saw the inserts and, and everything that's in the bundle. Amy will show you um, the cards that she got without ruining her nails. She'll open this up. Um, she will show you the, the cards in the packs, but also uh, we'll quickly look at what D20 she got. I got the Azorius one. Like I said, I think it would be funny if she opened the Gruul one. Also, I got Dovin Bon uh, and notably uh, the Azorius Planeswalker for the set. Uh, notably Domri, uh, number four. 14. Nope. Yeah, number 14, whereas Dovin is number 16. So if Amy got her Planeswalker, um, she would have the, the higher value just automatically for her guild. So, looking at the D20 first... Well, whatever. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, okay. Rakdos. It's Rakdos. Very nice. Look at the 20. Let's see nice. if we can find Second it there. second favorite guild. Okay, very good. You can hardly see it. It's so small. Yeah, it's also upside down from that angle, but that's yeah. that's fine. I can't tell because it's so <laughs> small. Yes, yeah, so there's the Rakdos Guild symbol. You've seen all the other stuff that's in there the kit. There we go, it's focused. Kit. Nice. <laughs> You've seen all the other stuff that's in the kit, so Amy will just pull out the, um, or the, it's not a kit, it's a bundle. But uh, she'll pull out the packs, move the rest of the stuff to the side, and you will start with pack number one that has Lavinia on it. Ooh, Lavinia. Yeah, more Azorius. Way to go. She's not my favorite character. Of course not. <laughs> um, but, of course not. Uh, she's not the worst, I guess. Yeah. She hasn't really been in the stories yet. We'll see. Okay, so we start with a fairy duelist. Gore Clan Wrecker. Impassioned Orator. Prying Eyes. Sagittar's Volley. A Noxious Grudian. Act of Treason. Sorry, guys. I'm a little messy here. It's, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this, I feel like. <laughs> That's true. That's probably true. <laughs> uh, we have an Imperious Oligarch. A Watchful Giant. I love this art. You do? I, I, I so cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the card itself, but the He's art is cool. so cool. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, we have a Burning Tree Vandal. A Rhythm of the Wild is yes. the first uncommon. I love this one. It is a very good card. <laughs> and it's Gruul, so there you go. An Azorius Skyguard. This one's also cool. <laughs> and a Resolute Watchdog. I love him. <laughs> I got one of those too. Look how cute he is. <laughs> yeah, too bad uh, his main purpose is to be sacrificed to save somebody else. Damn it. Anyway... <laughs> Amy's, the door is cool, too. <laughs> Amy's first rare or mythic is a... Oh, my God. Why? 
is a bad. It's the fourth most expensive card in the set. It is more expensive than the most expensive card that I opened. Mm. So yes, it is a smothering tithe. Number four. I'm sorry. That is okay. <laughs> Technically, you have not beaten me yet, although it is your first pack. Behind smothering tithe is a Simic Guild Gate and a human token. Wow. Sorry. I love you. <laughs> Hello. First, first pack. <laughs> All right, Kaya is on the front of this one. Wow. <clears throat> oh. Look it's, at that. It's Maria and Rich. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they were happy that... Why would you take it away? It's your token at the end. No, again, no. Okay. It's your token at the end of the pack. It's just the back of the token. I thought it was just an ad card. No, 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 no. Okay. They thankfully they don't do those anymore. <gasps> they know, really? Right? I know. They used to like oh, have no. a oh, bunch no. of them. They used to have a bunch of them, um, and then they kind of put them at like one in every ten packs or whatever. And now they just don't do them at all because it's just the back of all the tokens. So anyway, hey, look, it's slime bind. <laughs> <laughs> this was a good card. Yeah, I liked it. And in, in, in gameplay, it was a good in, card. In limited, yeah. A Spike Wheel Acrobat. A Hazda Officer. Arrestor's Admonition. Undercity Scavenger. I love him so much. He's yeah, this so is the, the Hamburglar, as we, yeah. we called him on our stream that we did, our preview stream, sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. A Sylvan <laughs> Brush Strider. Shameless plug. <laughs> It's actually more like FCC regulations, and I don't really want to get sued. Uh. Burning Tree Vandal. <laughs> and Aramunculus. But we were also grateful for the opportunity. Of course. Because I'm not a jerk. Uh, Rakdos Locket. Oh, no. I skipped one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, how could you forget the Chillbringer. I love this card. It is a very good card. Very, very so good. So cool. Yep. But, as you guys saw, Biogenic Upgrade is Amy's first uncommon in this pack. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want a gigantic lobster claw? Right? 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 To eat? Uh, <laughs> Gateway Sneak is the second. The claws are the best part. Well, of course. They're way better than the tails. <laughs> People just don't get it. <laughs> Hot takes from Amy here. Everybody. <laughs> and the Tin Street Dodger is her third. Her next rare or mythic is a precognition perception. Relatively certain that's not on here. It is not. Oh, okay. But that art is incredible. That's yeah, really cool. Check that out, guys. Really cool. Wow. Yeah. It's an Azorius card, so, you know. Damn. Of course if that was in great. foil... <laughs> Oh, damn. I don't know. There are some cards, don't forget, that look worse in foil because it kind of messes with the Darkens colors. Them, and, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know about that one. We'll see. But it's a great card regardless. We'll see because Will I intend see? to open it. Of course, clearly. Uh, behind it, a Rakdos Guildgate. I love this art, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's the, so good. The Guildgates, they did a really good job on they, this they did. they did. And a treasure token, which, once again, as I said, super realistic looking. But Amy didn't want you all to see that because she got rid of it because it had Maria and Rich on it. Exactly. And who wants that? <laughs> I don't know. People who enjoy Good Luck High Five, I assume, and uh, coverage. Okay, so we have uh, a little Rakdos cackler there on this pack. Well, Come on. You can do it. Don't mess up your nails. Uh, They're very, very pretty nails. Nope. I'd rather mess up my nails than not get this oh, thing no. open. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> you well, did it. It happened. It was <laughs> awful, but it happened. <laughs> Ooh, we start with a Rubble Belt Runner. It's a Gruel card. He's good, too. Yes. 10th District Veteran. She's not as good. Mm -hmm. A Prying Eyes. Gift of Strength. A Footlight Fiend. I love this one. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> a Senate Courier. Oh, an Azorius Knight Arbiter. Love this guy. Love him. So cool. A Gruel Locket. So there you go. There's your locket. Speaking of Gruel, a Frenzied Aranx. Mm. 
He's great. Hey, a Millennium Falcon. Azor, uh, Orzov Locket. Yay, I'm just full of lockets. <laughs> Best cards ever. <laughs> They're fine for if you need them for things. And Enraged Ceratok is your first uncommon. That card's cool. A Skate Wing Spy is the second. Mm. And a Spire Mangler is the third. Oh, I like this art. And your next rare or mythic. Uh, okay, good. Whew. That was scary. Hold on. She might be here. I don't think she is. Nikia of the Old Ways. I don't see her in my cursory glance through. No. It does but not look she's like awesome. Her. She is really so... cool. She is really cool. She's. I'm happy with she's her. She's not going to beat out Domri, though, for head of the Gruul clan, even though she's trying. But, you know. Um, good enough. She's still awesome. <laughs> All right. Behind. She's going to Nikia. <laughs> Nice. Behind Nikia is an Orzov Guildgate and an Ooze Token. Yay! <laughs> it's my flubber. Yeah, not really. That's Omnath. A Biogenic Ooze could totally go in an Omnath deck, but yeah. Exactly. Speaking of it's Domri. It's all flubber. <laughs> speaking of Domri, Domri is on this pack. Hopefully, for my sake, he is not inside it because I might lose immediately if you open him. I don't think I would, but hey. Here we go. Prowling Caracal is the first card. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Shimmer of Possibility is the second. This is such a cool art. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and the reflection is slightly different than what you're seeing above it. Yeah. Really and, cool. And the texture is just incredible. Oh, like I'd the be, water or whatever? I'd be very interested to know what um, substance this painting was painted on. Oh, okay. And I feel very strongly that it's a painting and it was painted on a very uneven sort of surface. Interesting. Hmm. That might be something we could ask on Twitter. Or I something. would love to. <laughs> uh, a sure uh, Nope. A storm strike. Sorry. Behind it, a Rakdos roustabout. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> a stony strength. <gasps> I love him. Artichoke strength. Artichoke. <laughs> He's the best. He's so good. <laughs> it's a good card. It really it's a, it's is a, a good fine card. card. Wrecking beast. Came in like a wrecking beast. He's a piggy. Ah. He looks like a pig. Ah. Look at him. Look at that snout. Ah. Scuttle gator. The awesome. crab turtle crocodile. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Splash blue for him, if you gotta. <laughs> you don't have to. Or green. Green, well, yeah. Uh, applied Biomancy, speaking of Simic cards. A Gateway Plaza, very cool art. Autumn on Ravnica, after all. Yep. A Debtor's Transport. He's so cool. <laughs> uh, and Orzov Racketeers is the first uncommon. High Alert is the second. I love that art. Gorgeous art. Right? My God. Right? Because it's Azorius, you know. Exactly. And a Syndicate Guild Mage is the third. The next rare or mythic <gasps> is oh. Amplifier. Nice. Not on the list, but... I don't remember this card. Oh, it's it's interesting. It's It's got um, an element of randomness to it, so people don't typically put it in decks a lot. But oh. we played against it in one game, I believe. On the on our preview stream, I don't remember that. <clears throat> yeah, but it's a it's a very cool art. Oh, I yeah. like this a lot. Yeah, and the flavor of it is really cool. That it's like the creature duplicated in fire every turn. Yeah. Behind it, a Gruel Guildgate. The other, uh, nice. or maybe maybe you don't have the other art yet, but still, a Gruel Guildgate and a Spirit Token. Okay. On to the next Vanifer on the front of this pack. Oh and my god, when really? She, when she gets to the inside of the pack, we will find out what's inside. Oh, there you go. You got it. I gotta open them all from the bottom, I guess. <laughs> it's the fingernails. It's something they don't tell you about. You have nice looking fingernails, it's harder to open stuff. Oh, okay. Humungulus is the first card. He's so cute. Another Storm Strike. He is kind of cute. He's no Fibblethip, though. We'll see him soon. Uh, a Civic Stalwart. Steeple Creeper, a Carrion Imp, oh my gosh, <laughs> a Blade Brand, uh, sorry, we'll get you used to it in time <laughs> for War of the Spark, good, a Titanic Brawl, 
Growth Spiral. Escape, nope, Expose to Daylight. I can read, I promise. It's a thing I learned how to do I'll a long time ago. My fingers a little, so you can... Grotesque Demise. A Frilled Mystic is your first uncommon. Oh, I love this art so much. I'm so glad you got it. It's, I, it's I knew one would... of my favorite arts of the set. It's really cool. It's, a, it's an interesting card, too, and a nice uncommon. Uh, hey, who you like this one, yeah. too, right? Bankrupt in Blood. Not a very good card for a limited, at least, but my God, that art is amazing. And a Spirit of the Spires is your third. So now your next rare or mythic is a Font of Agonies. There you go. Another cool That's piece of art. That's not on the list. It is very so much. That'll make you no. happy. <laughs> no one likes this card. No, 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 no. I love the art on this card. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. I just remember somebody at pre-release was very upset when they got this as their promo foil and one of the rares in one of their packs. Oh, boy. They were very upset. They're like, what can you even, what even lets you pay life? Like, uh, Nothing. <laughs> Shocklands. Anyway, behind Font of Agonies. <laughs> it's agonizing how bad the card is. <laughs> an Azorius Guildgate. And an Illusion Token. You got the little, oh, the little the squid, squid illusions. Guys. Yeah. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so there you go. You got your little squid guys, too. We are we'll open them each upside down <laughs> now. We are halfway through, and you're on a Lavinia pack, the same way you started. I want to fix up that pile there before you knock it over, FYI. Oh boy. <laughs> or pass it to me so it gets out of the way. Okay, way. fine. Okay, pass them over. Very good. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. Yeah, that opened easily. Good. Okay, and in this pack we have. A Sage's Row Savant. Mm. Rubble Belt Recluse. A Knight of Sorrows. A Rakdos Trumpeter. A Mammoth Spider. Mm. Senate Courier again. Cute little owl guy. Scuttle Gator again. Yay. Nice. A Senate Griffin. Simic Locket. Deface. Glad you like it. Nobody else does. <laughs> a Galloping Lizrog is your first uncommon. That guy's awesome. I know awesome. you love him. I sure uh, do. I'm not really into him. I'm sorry to hear that. What about Cry of the Carnarium? That seems awesome. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, please. Okay, so there's Cry of the Carnarium. And... A Gates Ablaze is your third uncommon. I want this one all day. <laughs> well, there you go. You have it now. Good. And your next rare or mythic is a Hero of Precinct 1. Uh, again, I got one of those as well. I believe that's like the 34th, and oh. we only go up to like the 32nd. So okay. I think it's like 95 cents, and we only go over a dollar. Sim, uh, a, yeah, that is not Simic at all. Yes, yep. it is. Simic yes, Guildgate. It is. Excuse me. I apologize. Yeah, Simic Guildgate, followed by... A frog lizard hmm. token. <laughs> He's All right. Cool, so actually. hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Amy, maybe in these last four packs you want something because right now you are not winning with just that smothering huh. tithe. I, I do have four packs left though. <sighs> I so, know. I still have, you know. Just a just a reminder. Some time. Yeah. Yeah. You just started strong with the smothering tithe, but. You're not quite there yet. You're pretty darn close, though. All right, we have a scorch mark. I like that one. Right? A bring to trial. Thought collapse. Oh, this art, man. Yeah, it, his Damn. mind was blown. You know. Blown his mind. Yeah. Uh, an Axbane beast. A Rakdos trumpeter again. A Rakdos Locket. A Burning Tree Vandal. Huh? Oh my gosh. A Catacomb Crocodile. Mm. With the coolest flavor text of the set. Which is what? It says, I am Swamp King, said Rat. I am quick and cunning, and I know every tunnel. No, I am king, said Zombie. I am cold and deadly, and, not, and no one can harm me, or no rat can harm me. Then Croc came and ate them both. Hmm. 
That sounds right. <laughs> it's a very short story. Yeah. Uh, an imperious oligarch is next. Clamor Shaman is your first uncommon. Again, to make me rhyme further. Ooh, Fireblade Artist. You mm, like this guy, right? Yes, I love him. He's really good. He's a very good card, too. And his art is the just so amazing. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at it. Ooh, look at that art, though. Look at it. Coming up next, Scrabbling Claws. Ooh. I haven't even really seen this one Yeah, much. it's not a, a card that I've seen very often, but the, the colors are just incredible. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. And your rare or mythic is Cinder Vines. That counts. That is number really? 30. Oh. So technically more expensive than my Absorb, but not as expensive as my Terramander or Wilderness Reclamation. So okay. there you go. It counts. It's on the list. Yay! So put it in your stack. I got a Lister. <laughs> Ooh, you have a Foil Common. In Concordia Pegasus. That is beautiful. Yeah, wow. very, very cool. Very Check cool. out that foiling, guys. Mm -hmm. Damn. And considering uh, I looked up my foils. That looks so good. <laughs> off camera. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm pretty sure this will not count. Um, but we will look it up because when I looked up my foil, uh, my foil common was seven cents. <laughs> so yeah, definitely does not count. But anyway, behind Concordia Worth Pegasus, it. nice that you got a foil though. That looks really cool. A Rakdos Guildgate. Oh, the that other Rakdos art. Is art. Incredible. Yep. Wow. I told you the Guildgates Damn, are pretty good. They really did do a great job with this set. Yes, and a really cool looking goblin, goblin. as well. Three packs remaining. Rakdos Reveler on the front of this one as well. Yes. Your upside down method has not failed it's, you so far. It's worked. Yeah. All right, another scorch mark to start. Mm -hmm. A Hazda officer. Persistent petitioners. Yes. Rubble belt runner. Noxious Grudian. Steeple creeper. Justiciers portal. Mm. <clears throat> A final payment. I haven't Very cool. seen many of those either. I know. An act of treason. Another imperious oligarch. I love her. She's cool. Speaking of things that we love, Hackrobat is your yes, first uncommon. She's great. Yes. She's truly great. <laughs> a gruel beastmaster. Mm -hmm. And a wilderness reclamation, which counts. And Basically, no matter what is behind there, because I kind of saw the bottom of it, and maybe our viewers did as well, uh, the next card will also be going on your stack, because for your Mythic, you got... Yep. Wow. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, no. It's great. The second <laughs> most expensive card in the set, Kaya, Orzov, Usurper... <sighs> Well, guys, it's been fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you get these last two packs. Nice. Yeah, you wish. G congratulations. Why would I wish that? Because. Uh, so, yes, Kaya goes on your stack. She She's definitely awesome. counts. Good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Speaking of the Orzov Usurper, you now have an Orzov Guildgate to go with her and a Spirit Token. Very nice. You have two packs remaining, as you said. Domre. Domre is on this one. Let's look into it. Yep. Opening from the bottom is definitely helping. Good. So. There's your tip for the day from Amy. Open the packs from the bottom from now on. Night of Sorrows. Hmm. A Coral Commando. Ooh. You love your merfolk. Yes. <laughs> uh, a Gravel Hide Goblin. Hmm. He's a gruel guy. A Prowling Caracal. A Sauriform Hybrid. It's been a while since I've seen him, but yeah. he was good he's when great. we played with him in The preview Sealed. event. Yeah, he's, I mean, for two mana, he's great. Uh, a Rakdos Roustabout. A Ceruli Caretaker. An Air Amunculus. He's cool, too. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, Ill-Gotten Inheritance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very Love cool. that. Yeah. Love that. Uh, ooh, my favorite. Or one of my favorites. Law Mage's Binding. Mm. Very cool. Ooh, ooh a, split a split card. card. It is Depose Deploy. 
Wow. It's your Sorry, first guys. uncommon. <laughs> Jeez. It's your first uncommon. Am I on a boat? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I think Don't all you of our. Better forget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, a Silhana Wayfinder and a Rumbling Ruin. I love him. Do you? Uh, nice. Look how cute he is. <laughs> uh, and, and he's good, too. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad. And your next rare or mythic is. <gasps> Judith. Well, look, I know you're happy yes. to get Judith. She's also the 22nd most expensive card in the set, so there you go. Just uh. adding on to it. But yes, congratulations, you got Judith. I know you like her quite a bit. Yes. So Not that I don't, but... Because yeah. you should. <laughs> so there you go, Judith, okay. congratulations. Uh, you have a Gruel Guildgate behind okay, it. Okay, awesome. And a Thopter token. Hmm. You have one pack remaining. It has Lavinia on the it front. It does. My girl, Lavinia. And on the inside, oh no, okay. I thought your method was gonna fail you right there it at the end. It's happening. <laughs> Slow but sure. <laughs> all right, so on the inside of your final pack, which is all elementary at this point, but <laughs> we have a Twilight Panther. Persistent Petitioners. Territorial Boar. Ooh, a Plague White. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Oh, I like that card quite a bit. Very, very good. Titanic Brawl. Mm. Ooh, you got a Growth Spiral. This is my second one. Oh, did I miss it before? I'm yes. sorry. Well, there you go. And Exposed to Daylight. I just know how much you like that art, so... It's good. Or girl spiral. I don't know. I mean, people are saying it's amazing, so. Okay. I, I like to try and focus on some of the other ones that I think are also amazing. Fair enough. Fair enough. We have a grotesque demise. Ooh, a sphinx's insight. Ooh, burn bright. Yeah. <laughs> She's cool. Uh, an angelic exultation mm -hmm. is your first uncommon. Ooh, a Regenesis is your second. Ew. <laughs> I feel like the Simic would be proud to hear you say ew to that. And a Forbidding Spirit is your third. So your last rare or mythic is a... Why? Oh my god! <laughs> Breeding pool. Yeah, so you got the second, third, and fourth most expensive cards in the set, and I got the fifth. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> So you can go in the breeding <laughs> pool, and then you can create your regenesis. regenesis. Yeah, but breeding pool, the third most expensive card in the set. So you got Kaya, breeding pool, and smothering tithe. Congratulations. Legitimately this is a beautiful congratulations. Art too. Yes, yes, it's very it's cool incredible. that you got that. Followed by a Simic Guild Gate, because of course, and a human token. Guys, we will be back in just a second to find out who won. <laughs> So, I lost. I don't think you guys need to see each and every card. You kind of saw it already, and as I told you, and I have it listed here, um, between Kaya, a Breeding Pool, and a Smothering Tithe, all three of those being the second, third, and fourth most expensive cards in the set, uh, are better than my Blood Crypt being the fifth, my uh, Scargan Hellkite being the 15th, and my Dovin being the 16th, and again, we each had other cards beyond that. Amy got her Judith. We both got Wilderness Reclamation. So, yeah, there were other things. But unquestioningly, Amy won. That is not a surprise. And so as a punishment, while I talk to all of you, uh, Amy has done this previously. I have never done this, and I am very worried about it. Um, this is an onion. Uh, Amy was nice enough to go and pick this up at the store today, just in case I lost. Uh, and Amy's exact words when she took it out of the bag a moment ago to give it to me was, you know, I bought this onion, it's kind of gross, which is just <laughs> great when I have to now eat this onion as if it were like a piece of fruit. Um, it is I'm not sorry cooked. they didn't have a great selection. <laughs> I don't think you're sorry. <laughs> I kind of am. Uh, because anyway. I saw how bad the other ones were. <laughs> that was the best one. So... Um, I have to now peel apart this onion as best I can, which, spoilers, is already not going well. Uh, 
I'm going to eat as much of this onion as I can. It's not going to be the whole thing. We don't have that kind of time. Um, and while I'm doing that, this is very annoying, I will talk to all of you. As I said at the top of this video, uh, this is the final fiancé finance bundle battle. We've done a good number of these. Um, I do not know the exact scores. Uh, and sure, it helps us out, but I also genuinely did not tabulate them. Um, so feel free to go back and watch the other ones. There is a playlist on our channel of all of them. Yeah, and we hope you guys enjoy them. They were a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost certain I lost more than you did. Yeah, I mean, at one point, it kind of started to even out a It little felt bit. like it was getting close even more recently, because Amy, yeah. uh, Amy was actually starting to lose more than I was. Um, but... A lot of the earlier ones I lost, so uh, a lot more punishments that we needed to decide on me doing than Amy, but yeah, still. I do feel like that is true. Right. Now, but the reason that this is the final uh, fiancé finance bundle battle is because, you know, if you look back, I mean, some of the... Oh my god, I'm going to start crying. Oh, um, um, <laughs> some of these uh, other... Some of these battles uh, go back a ways, and... You might think to yourself, there's no way that they've been fiancés that long. We were. <laughs> sure were. And we sure are. And yet, thankfully, before War of the Spark, we are getting married. So, finally it's happening. It's been very stressful. It took us a while to get this video out because of it. Um, but, yeah, uh, planning a wedding is hard, but we are really looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to have... A lot of people there that mean a lot to us, because that's kind of how weddings go. Um, and if and when we can, we will be posting pictures, uh, either at maybe video, hopefully here. We would love to show you yeah, guys uh, love to. some of what we got into at our wedding. It um, should be a good time, and we can post pictures up on our Twitter and stuff. So check the link in the description, and you can follow us there. I think it's about time for me to bite right into this thing. It was terrible for you, right? Yeah. You said that? Okay, yeah. great. Good. Good to know. Good. I mean, the first bite was not as bad. But, but subsequent the, bites? The second bad. and third were not good. Great. Well, bottoms up. I'm going to try to take a big bite at first and then maybe... You only took two or three, right? I took three bites, yes. Alright, well, I guess I got to do as many as Amy did. That's a huge bite. Oh my god, that's so big. Joe, you're gonna die. Stick that out. Oh my god. <laughs> I took tiny bites. Oh. I think that's enough. Oh. <laughs> Don't take more bites. That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Has it started burning your throat yet? It will. No, that was the first <laughs> time I swallowed. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we had such a nice dinner a minute ago, too. <laughs> oh my god. It's a good thing I forgot to put the onions on. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to put onions on it, and I forgot. And I guess it's a really good thing, because... Oh my god. Otherwise, you'd be down in the tums for the rest of the night. I'm sure you will be anyway, but... Oh my god, that burns. Yep. Like everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as I said, oh, this is the last fiancé finance. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> this is the last fiancé finance bundle battle, but we will be back with bundle battles that are basically exactly the same. We just won't be fiancés anymore. Uh, the other cool thing is we will be back hopefully soon with some openings. Um, with maybe some bling on once once we get our um, wedding rings. Yeah. Um, we can actually do some openings with... I mean, Amy's had her engagement ring, and it's beautiful. Um, it's a family heirloom. I'm not just like, oh, I spent lots of money. Like, it was, you know, something that we got modified, and it's a beautiful piece, and we both really love it. Um, the, uh, the wedding rings as well are both uh, part of that same family heirloom. At least the stones were, and we modified a lot of that stuff. So maybe someday we can talk to you guys about that too, if you care. Um... 
Before we go, I am going to do one more, I know. No. But you did three. That one counted as maybe two. N no. Maybe. I took tiny <laughs> bites. Nothing like that. Too bad. That's horrifying. Too bad. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. This has been another end of the final Fiance Finance Bundle Battle here on the Geek For All YouTube channel. For us here, I want to thank you all seriously so much for any and all of these that you've watched. If you go back and watch the other ones as yes, well. Yes, thank you. Please do. Uh, because we really enjoyed making them. Uh, some of them, like this one may have seemed like it was like, you know, far and away Amy beat me. This was not the worst. Go watch. I believe it was Dominaria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much. I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, guys, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to keep it going. Ugh. I want them to see this reaction. <laughs> it's not good. No. <laughs> Just let me know if you're going to throw up. I'll grab oh. you a bag. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did I do the second bite? <laughs> I told you not to. All right. Amy's going to turn the camera off now. Bye, guys. I love you. Oh.